okay guys so this is the realme 6 okay the realme 6 rmx 2001 okay so i'm gonna try to custom this one using a pbrp custom recovery okay and <coughs> okay we're going to use we're going to custom this one using the Nusantara OS okay it based on OSP Android 11 okay. all the files and instruction I will also provide it in my blog okay so you can check in the description box okay this ROM is very stable and very fast very snappy <coughs> I will be recommended for daily use. Okay. Uh, there is no bug. Uh, okay, so you can check on how to customize this one and a quick review about this one. Okay. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum. We're meeting again with Tom Bob. Okay, this time we have a Realme phone. Okay, this is the Realme Six. With the code name is RMX Two Thousand One. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna try to customize this phone. Okay, because the Realme UI suck. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna custom this one using uh, the Nusantara OS, okay. Nusantara 2.8-11, okay, based on Android 11. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now let's check the point. Okay. Let's go to the settings. I'll check <clears throat> about phone. Okay, as you can see, the top phone is based on Android 10. Okay, the model name is RMX 2001. It has uh, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Okay, let's check the version. Okay. <clears throat> The build number is B59 and based on color OS 7. Okay, I have locked this one. Okay, <clears throat> okay make sure you have unlocked the bootloader. You can check on my other tutorial. Okay, I will give it a link. Okay, let's go to additional settings, developer option. And okay, it has been unlocked. <clears throat> the step is very similar to other Realme phone. Okay, I will show you. Let's put down the phone. Okay, you just need to go to the fast boot mode, press the recovery, press the TV meta. Okay, reboot to custom recovery and make sure you have backup the NPRM, NP data, and also the nfcfp if there is an option okay usually this these two files okay this is contain the email and the baseband okay <clears throat> okay let's get started let's go to the facebook mode uh, uh, sorry still not spawn okay just pressing the button and pull off. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the basket mode by pressing the volume down. Okay. Press the volume down and uh, pull button at the same time. Okay. Now we are in the basket mode. Okay, as you can see, it's just a dark screen with a small white text in here. 
but if you plug the USB cable, it will show you that we have connected to the passport mode. Okay. Let's switch the screen again and open the command prompt. Okay. Let's check the connection. Let's type Facebook device. Okay. Seems it's the cable. Facebook device. Okay. As you can see, now we are connected. Okay. Let's just use the terminal because it has a larger phone <laughs> okay that's the device okay you can see it show the serial number okay so as usual let's press the custom recovery okay just type fast boot space fast space recovery space <coughs> and then uh, just click and drag the custom recovery Okay, we're going to use the PBRP. It is it is isn't official yet. Okay, but it's work. Okay, <clears throat> and the second step is we want to flash the PB meta. Okay, it's quite a long comment. So let's just copy and paste the comment. Okay, copy paste it. And then, where is the PB meta? Ah, uh, I forgot. Okay, this one. I'm going to use this one. Just click and click the file. Okay, enter. Now we're done. Close this one. <clears throat> and we want to put into the custom recovery. Okay. This type fast boot space reboot space recovery. Okay. Fast boot reboot space recovery. Okay. Hit enter. <clears throat> okay. Now we are in the custom recovery. Okay. Okay. First thing we need to do is we need to wipe the folder. Okay. So the wipe menu here, go to the format data tab and type yes. Okay. Hit enter. Okay. <clears throat> Hit the home button. Select the power icon menu here. And select reboot recovery. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now for the second step, go to the wipe menu again. This time, select the advanced tab. Tap. Select the Delphic, Cast, and Data. Okay, swipe it. Okay, hit the home button. <coughs> and we also want to make a backup. Okay, go to the backup menu here. <coughs> and let's select the NPRAM boot and NP data okay better safe than sorry okay <laughs> NPRAM and NP data contain the baseband and email okay we also can change the storage <coughs> uh, to your SD card or whatever okay pick up this one and swipe it So maybe you also want to save it. Uh, <coughs> copy the file into a safe place. Okay. Just for caution. 
let's copy and paste it in here. Okay. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's copy some file, okay. First thing you want to copy is the from okay. This is the Nusantara OS. Let's copy and paste it into the internal storage. Okay, this size is about 600 megabytes. Okay. <clears throat> and we also want to copy the gaps. Okay. Because the ROM is not included with gaps. Okay. Uh, we are using ARM64 111. And we'll use the mid caps. Okay, let's copy and paste it. Okay. And this one is optional. The mages. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to use the mages 22.1. Okay, this is the latest one. And I'm making this video. Okay. <clears throat> let's minimize this one and switch the screen again. Now, let's swipe it. Home button, select install, select the new Sandara OS. Okay, yes, uncheck all the options and swipe it. Okay. okay. Wait for the process. Okay. I also already have two files of the custom recovery. <clears throat> first one is the Nusantara OS and the second one is the what is it the, the pixel extended <clears throat> okay maybe later we're gonna make a video about the pixel just the same but the difference it's it the difference is the pixel already included the uh, gaps okay so you do not have to install the gaps again okay okay it's done let's swipe it <clears throat> and as usual hit the home button select like the power menu select like reboot recovery okay Okay. Now go to the install menu again. This time I select the new caps. Okay, add more zip and select the menus. Okay, let's swipe it. Okay, done. Now just hit the reboot button here. Select like system and we'll wait. Usually the Nusantara OS is very quick. It boots less than 10 seconds. Usually I don't know about this one. But in Xiaomi it's usually very fast. Okay. Okay. Nice. As you can see now, uh, it's booting. It's replaced the Realme logo into the Samsung OS logo. Okay. 
I like this wrong very much. <laughs> Okay, now we are already in the home screen. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, I will stop this video and let's make a quick review about this one. Okay. Okay, hello guys. So we'll continue. We'll make a quick review about this one. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, for my first impression is the ROM is very quick and snappy. Okay, it's better than the stock ROM. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, let's just test the apps. <coughs> okay, let's install some apps. Okay, okay nice, very fast. Okay. There is no delay in this room. Okay. As you can see, it's very minimalistic. <coughs> Even we don't have a browser. <laughs> so I need to install a few browser to test the sound. Okay. First thing is let's open the images. Okay. Go to the settings and enable the image height. Okay. Let's go back. As you can see, we have successfully installed images. Okay, this is images 21.1. Okay. Let's open the so checker. Just for fun. Okay, this granted. Your Realme G90 T series is rooted on Android 11. Okay, nice. <coughs> okay. Let's take another test. Let's test the camera. <coughs> okay, this is the front camera. Okay, I oh, sorry, the back camera. Let's take a picture and let's test the front camera. Okay, <coughs> this is the front camera. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, quite nice. Not the best, but quite decent. Okay, let's check the result. Okay, this is the back camera. Not the best. If you want the best, you can always install the Gcam. Okay. This is the front camera. Okay, very <coughs> quite detail. <laughs> okay, nice, it's working. Let's check the GPS. Okay. Open the maps. Give it permission. Uh, oh, nice! Very fast, and it's also locking. Hey, <coughs> okay. just for your information, if you open a maps and it has a small blue dots, it means that it's locking. Okay, if if it has a large blue dot, it means it doesn't lock. Okay. <coughs> This and uh, it is not very important for the gamers, but uh, for GPS like uh, riding driver, object, project Uber, uh, Grab, it's important. Okay. Also for navigation, maybe. <laughs> okay, so the GPS is working very well. Okay. Let's test the sound. Okay. Let's play some music. Okay, let's open the YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Okay. Wow, very sexy. <laughs> okay, let's play this one. Buka kebaikan selama Ramadan bersama My Telkomsel.
Okay, can you hear the sound? Okay, I will get it close to the mic. Seems that the video and uh, music, sound and video is working very well. Okay, that's all, guys. That's a quick review about this Nusantara OS on Android 11. Okay, seems that all <coughs> the basic function is uh, function properly. Okay, the sound, video, camera, uh, GPS. It's also working. The Wi-Fi is also working. So I guess it's, it's quite stable enough for daily use. Okay, and also for gaming, I, I think it's better than the stock one. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you like this video. If you like, please hit the like button. <laughs> okay. I uh, also have a last video about custom ROM and routing. Please check my other video. And I also really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because you will get notified when I'm uploading a video okay that's all this is a tutorial and a quick review about <coughs> the realme 6 rmx 2001 using uh, Nusantara OS custom rom android 11 okay thank you guys have a nice day assalamualaikum